forgot what day it actually is today. I think it's my sixth day of going live on Facebook. Um, maybe even seventh? No, sixth. So, um, the statement of today is that some horses are more capable of being able to train with you when you would take away freedom of choice. And does this sound familiar uh, to you? Maybe it does. Um, it's something that I hear quite often that um, it's okay to have um, freedom of choice for some horses and just be very clear and strict with other horses because that's um, just the way they would work. I don't agree and obviously I'm not going to discuss only statements that, statements that I don't agree with but it's just something that I don't agree with um, because I think that freedom of choice can work for any horse and it's up to us to use the right right amount of freedom of choice obviously because we don't want a horse to be stressed out because we aren't um, deciding everything for them because i can imagine that it can be difficult for a horse to switch from a very traditional and um, old-fashioned way of training to maybe complete freedom of choice that can be too much um, i don't think that's weird I think that would be with humans even the case. Um, I think you have to add just a little bit more um, consent, more, more freedom of choice and more um, initiative from the horse in every step. You cannot make that change uh, overnight as with humans. Um, but I do think that it's a goal you should be working towards. And um, I think if, if a horse would, um, wouldn't be okay with having more responsibility and having more um, possib possibility to, to, to take initiative, if they aren't okay with that, I do wonder about their emotional welfare. And it's the same with people. We aren't actually so different. We are actually quite the same. So if a horse would really freak out by um, having to make a decision and if that's something they cannot work with, then I'm concerned because a horse is capable of making decisions and a horse is capable of deciding things on their own. So yeah, I think it's, um, it's important to take it step by step and don't overload your horse with freedom of choice in training when first you didn't um, use freedom of choice so that's really something i can help you with if you need more um, guidance with how to implement freedom of choice in training but i really don't think that some horses thrive on structure and thrive on um, not being free to say what they want and I think that's where we get all these words kind of mixed up. So people say, well, you just have to be strict. Um, you have to be, you have to guide your horse and um, you have to be, let's say the leader. I think those concepts all um, evolve around the, the idea that we as humans are afraid to hand over some of the initiative and to hand over some of the um, freedom of choice actually so it's not that some horses just thrive on, on those uh, concepts it's just something that we are um, are having difficulties to deal with in, in training but it's really possible and if it leads to stress then know that you are on the right path but that you might be um, giving your horse too much freedom uh, of choice or not being clear in a certain area of training. And that's really something I or any other horse professional that, um, that knows about freedom of choice can really help you with. And it might be difficult to see it for yourself when you are doing it. So I think it's really good to have a professional um, just watching uh, videos, for example, with you. 
So, if you don't have any more questions, I think we are done for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, can you please let me know in the comments um, and also maybe um, provide me with some more statements or questions that you, um, that you have or that you hear from other horse people because I actually really enjoy doing these Facebook Lives and if, you, if you're interested, I can also do a longer Facebook Live with multiple subjects um, and that might be longer because these only take like five or ten minutes. So let me know and thank you for watching. Bye!